farm duty electric motors. The term farm duty, in my opinion, is used to express a class of motor that can be used in the different farm environments and certainly does not mean that a motor in this class cannot be used in other environments because they are being utilized in all types of industries every day. A recent article published by a manufacturer stated that the farm duty electric motors are specifically designed for applications requiring high and moderate starting forks and currents and that all farm duty motors are totally closed, fan cooled motors. And still another stated that all come with manual overload protection, which is pure nonsense. In another case, the people were being advised to only buy motors with a service factor of 1.15. Now, do you really believe that all the motor manufacturers would be rating their motors that way if it were true? I can assure you, none of them want to miss a sale. So the bottom line is to pick a motor using your common sense. Picking an electric motor is no different than sizing a gas engine. Pick an electric motor that will handle your load without overloading. Please note, I didn't say to use a service factor rating because you do not want to do that. Now that you have calculated the size of the electric motor, you need to know how hard your load will start. Be honest with yourself in assessing the starting torque required for your load, as this is one area I have most often seen abused in my 50 years of business. And it is a fact that you will be the one losing if you don't do it properly. Example, I am buying a motor to auger dry grain only. It will never be used on wet bed. Sure, yeah, okay. I wish I had a nickel for every time I had heard that over the years. The largest contributing factor to motor failure is not the design of the manufacturer or defects, but improper application or misuse. As a matter of fact, at the time of this writing, I have a motor in our facility for repair with all of the starting capacitors and a start switch bad. Now I ask you, what are the chances of four capacitors and a start switch all failing at the same time from normal usage? I thought you might get the point. Since the manufacturers don't normally see the end loads, I don't believe they really care which motor you purchase. If it is wrong, they will smile and let you purchase another one. On a personal note, not that it matters, but I always recommend the extra high starting torque motors when the motor is to be used on augers and conveyors, where they can be started under load. Never mind the fact that you never start your augers and conveyors under load, I'll stand by my statement. If your single phase motor is to be used with no starter and overload protection, you should pick a motor that comes with a manual overload built in, because that protection will trip in case of motor overload. This brings me to the service factor rating, which normally range from 1.0 to 1.25. Just in case you don't already know, we are detailing the normal running amperage of the motor. So if a motor is rated at 28 amps at a specific voltage with a service factor of 1, the motor is not designed to accept any load greater than a 28 amp. On the other hand, if a light motor with a service factor of 1.25 were installed on the same machine, it would accept a momentary load of 28 times 1.25, which is 35 amps. Remember, operating your motor on its service factor rating will increase heat in the motor, which in turn will shorten its life expectancy. Many manufacturers rely on selling the equipment based on the fact that the motor used to operate is on the service factor of the motor. Well, just hold on a minute. If you are in an industrial plant, I know you are sizing with a proper circuit breaker and or fusing. But if you are on the farm, I would gamble with you that 9 out of 10 people will be protecting the above described farm duty motor with a 60 amp fuse as opposed to using the proper protection. Why? Well, because it's the largest fuse they can put in their disconnect box. And after all, 
who wouldn't want the fuse to fail if an overload were to occur? It is what I refer to as a Washington mindset. While there are many applications for farm duty motors, some of the more prominent uses are as follows. It can be used for pumps, fans, conveyors, poultry equipment, air compressors, and other machinery. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.